to quote an ever wise merchant from the Disney classic. Do not be fooled by his commonplace appearance. Like so many things, it is not what is outside, but what is inside that counts. Today, we look at how Disney's Aladdin teaches one of the most fundamental lessons anyone can learn in life. Disney is set to release the live action version of their classic 1992 movie Aladdin. The romantic tale of a boy from poverty falling for a princess and trying to win her love using the power of a magical genie is a story that's beloved to many since its first release 26 years ago. However, behind the action, humour and the infamous theme There lies a story at its heart that has great relevance as a life lesson to both young and old alike. Today we explore five themes from the story of Aladdin that are hugely irrelevant in today's world and for those seeking to live life on their terms. Before we get into the list, if you enjoy this video and find it of value, please drop a like to let me know, share the video with friends and family and subscribe for more content like this. Please don't forget to hit the bell icon as if you don't, YouTube may not notify you of the latest videos. Right, to get straight into the list. Number 1. Self-Acceptance The overall theme of Aladdin is that strength and wealth fundamentally comes from within and not from what you have or own. Regardless of being poor or rich, your true value as an individual comes from who you are and the unique perspective you bring to the world. This is evident as Aladdin's greatest show of strength is when he loses the genie as the villainous Jafar has the lamp and is master of the genie. In this instance, Aladdin uses his wit and intelligence to overcome Jafar and play out his role as the hero of the narrative. Up to this point in the story, Aladdin had portrayed himself falsely to Jasmine and while this initially interested Jasmine, it also led to internal conflicts for Aladdin who struggled to maintain the facade and fell into a moral dilemma. What's important is that when he's forced to be true to himself and accept himself for who he truly is, Aladdin's no longer trying to portray himself as a prince and is no longer dependent on what he has or the power of the genie to fulfil his position as a leader and protector of the Kingdom of Agrabah. From this, as individuals, we learn the first lesson of the film, that we're at our best when we accept ourselves for who we are, being self-aware of what we have and what we're capable of. Your circumstance, wealth or opportunities are worthless if you don't first grow yourself as an individual and trust yourself to take the right path suitable for you in life. Number 2. Pursuit of Power Following on from self-acceptance is what you do when you come into power. Aladdin, when initially granted the power, sought to use the power granted to him through the wishes to act for personal gain, falsely aiming to portray himself as a prince to win the heart of Princess Jasmine. The same goes for Jafar. As in the pursuit of power, his goal was to seek power for personal gain as opposed to using it for the good of others. In both cases, we see the ability that the power has to corrupt that ultimately leads to disaster for those who seek power for personal gain. People in society usually accept hierarchical social structures to provide organisation, but when the head of the structure fails to act in the interest of those he or she leads, the majority will often seek to remove the head. It's fundamental to understand that with power comes responsibility and the responsibility of a leader is to serve the people they lead. Thematically this is touched on time and again in Aladdin, as every leader portrayed in the film shows their failings with the use of power throughout the course of the film. Jafar chooses to seek power for personal gain and is ultimately defeated by a representative of the people he is supposedly leading. The Sultan, portrayed as naive and ignorant, has power as the ruler of Agrabah, yet chooses to restrict himself and his daughter in using that power to uphold traditions that are restrictive to the freedom of the people, in this case his own daughter, whose motivation on receiving the wishes of the genie chose to use that power for himself. Now specifically in the case of Aladdin, he journeys through the course of the story as the hero who is forced to deal with conflict and pain before growing to fulfil his role in the narrative. On losing the power of the genie and accepting himself for who he truly is, he takes on a leadership role which is most obvious in how he uses his final wish, which is to use the power for another and free the genie from his captivity in the lamp. It's at this point we see true leadership come to the fore in Aladdin, where power is used to support and empower others and the source of such maturity comes from the self-assurance Aladdin has gained from his growth throughout the course of the film. Number 3. Freedom 
Thematically, Aladdin is very closely linked to the idea of freedom. The genie would like to be free from the lamp and essentially a slave to his master. Jasmine seeks freedom from traditions and rules no longer relevant to the world she is in, and Aladdin seeks freedom from poverty and the stigma attached to it. Aladdin's case is incredibly relatable, as in the modern world many people seek this concept of financial freedom, only to mistake it with the desire for wealth. In the case of Aladdin, he did this with his choice to be prince and to impress Jasmine, and principally placed chains on himself as he had to maintain a facade that was contrary to his true self. The reality is people today seek the same false representation as they want to portray themselves as rich and financially free and maintain a similar facade to do so. This is no more clear than on social media, where people go to great lengths to show how they have fancy cars and constant holidays to try and sell the idea of financial freedom, thus placing restrictions on themselves as to how to live and thus building insecurities about themselves as they struggle with true self-acceptance. And if it's not portraying wealth, it's seeking wealth where often those who want to be rich do so without a clear purpose as to why. In this scenario, people often end up getting caught in the rat race as there is always more to get and often end up more miserable, living life to earn, but then having no freedom from the work to actually live. In Aladdin's case, we see in his journey he attains freedom at the end when he accepts himself for who he is, no longer trying to win the affection of Jasmine through false portrayal of himself and choosing to use the power he has for the benefit of others. The critical word there is being he chose to use his power in this way. True freedom comes from the ability to choose your path and own your decisions, to live life on your terms and try not to play up to the expectations or desires of others. This goes back to the original point of self-acceptance. You can never attain such freedom if you aren't first willing to accept yourself for who you are. Number 4. Pursuit of Truth Following on from the concept, we see how lies can restrict you on your journey in life. As previously discussed, Aladdin's choice to try and mask his truth through Jasmine led him to having moral dilemmas throughout the course of the story. It's only through acknowledging himself as the person he is, as opposed to what he thinks he has to do, we really see Aladdin shine as the hero, and this very point is wholly and completely relevant in today's world, especially with the internet. People who aren't true to themselves and try to hide the reality of who they are to the world are often ousted for the falsehood online. There's innumerable scandals that break on a daily basis, and with the digital world there's a level of transparency that has traditionally been lacking. The reality is it's become more important today than ever not to try and hide who you are, but instead to embrace the reality of who you are. However, to do this needs courage and thus we go back to the original point once again, self-acceptance is critical. While this transparency might appear frightening at first, it's actually more empowering than people might realise. Whereas traditionally people would live to try and hide their flaws to others, restricting themselves in the process, today people are much more willing to show themselves for who they are and for the most part this is often accepted. In fact, it's actually quite endearing especially when you know you can actually relate to the flaws of someone who is hugely successful. This is also true in the case of Jasmine and Aladdin, where the princess appears more enamoured with the hero on understanding his full character as opposed to when he falsely portrayed himself as the prince and followed traditional conventions for marriage that she strongly opposed. Number 5. True happiness comes from within, not from what you have. From the previous point we can understand and come to realise that the reality is that to live a life of meaning and one that you can describe as happy, it's critical to focus on the introspective. Happiness doesn't come from what you have, or working to gratifying your desires for items or objects. Instead, happiness comes from progressing and becoming the person who you truly are, being true to the values you hold and living life on the terms you set for yourself. Aladdin's story ends with him returning to where he began, but his growth over the course of the story sees his maturity and growth as an individual and from here we see that Princess Jasmine is prepared to accept him for the reality of who he is, regardless of where he's from. The reality is that people who focus on power and what they have without giving greater importance to self-realisation often struggle in life, trying to maintain something that isn't congruent with who they are. The story of Aladdin has depth and value which gives emphasis to where we need to shift our focus and perspective in life. 
If you want true success in life, then you'll never have it if you only seek to gratify your desires of physical wealth and power. Because first and foremost, you must seek to find purpose and acceptance within. Have you watched the original Aladdin? And how do you think the upcoming live action remake will compare? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with friends and family to support the channel. Thanks for watching.